Now that we have imported all of the fonts, we're going to start creating with them. So we're going to click here at the, on the blue A right there, and it's going to bring up on the screen um, a default lettering. So it brings up the ABC, the block that's already installed with the Embrillion software. So we want to click on it to make sure that we have these black boxes around it. And we're going to go over here to this drop down. And this is going to show you all the fonts that you have installed on your computer. So all of the ones that you've already um, installed. So we're going to click on Bridgetown and it's going to give you, us the ABC by default. So we want to change that, okay? So we just need to highlight it, left click, or we can simply click and use the backspace key on our computer keyboard. And we are going to type out a, um, a word. So let's type out, on our computer keyboard, I'm typing out the word Mary. I've uh, typed out the word Mary and now you see it hasn't changed here so we need to click the set button click set and there is our word Mary okay so now we want to do this again because we want to make the word um, the phrase Merry Christmas so if we go up to the blue a and click on that and let's change the font so we need to make sure that we have this highlighted by having the um, black rectangles, the black squares around it. And we're going to click here and we're going to scroll down. So let's try charming. We'll click on charming and you can see it changed the letters here. So now let's type out the word Christmas. I'm doing this on my computer keyboard. So I type out the word Christmas and I click set to change the letters. So now we have Merry Christmas. Now we want to do it one more time, so we're going to go up to the blue A, click on that, it brings up the ABC again, and let's change the word one more time. Let's use coffee with sugar. And I want to type the word everyone on my computer keyboard. So I click set. And there we have, that fast, we have created a word design with all the letters brought in. So now if you decide that these letters are a little bit too close together, you can individually move each little um, letter by itself. Undo, undo, or you can just highlight the letter here and you can go over to these sliders here. You can slant the word. And by clicking this little, it's kind of, it's a reset. It'll take it back to neutral where the font normally is. You can increase the spacing in the letters. If it was a word, you can increase the word spacing um, between each word, or you can increase the line spacing so let's do that really quick. I'm going to change this so that we can we can see what we're actually dealing with. I'm going to uh, so right here. I'm going to press the Enter key on my computer keyboard to go down to the next line, and I'm going to type the word Christmas right here, just so you can see. I'm going to click Set. So now we're just going to be dealing with this right here to show you. Um, you can. Increase the line spacing. Okay. And then if we took the word here and let's make it so that it's actually all in one line, this is how we can increase the spacing between the word. Okay, so now let's just take it back to the word Mary and put it back up here. 
Now we want to change the color. So you can make sure the word is still highlighted, the rectangle is around it, and you click on color and you can click over here. So Floriani, I have it just preset, but you can go in here and look at all the different brands that they have and you can switch it to your brand that you love and use all the time. And you can change the color of the words and click OK. And now we want Christmas to be um, green. So if you know the number of your thread color, you can by all means just type it in or you can scroll and find the colors. And now one more time, let's change the color. And pretend that's silver. So we can say Merry Christmas, everyone. And it's that simple. In the next video, we'll show you how to save the design. I hope this information was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to be informed when we upload new videos. You can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram as Creative Appliques. We are also on Twitter at C Appliques. And of course, all of our designs are available on our website, www.creativeappliques.com. Thanks for joining me today and make your life creative.